Hey, it's Club George VIP hanging out with you. It's another Wednesday. Guess what? We got the classic cars. Yeah. Check it. Hey, what kind of car is this? The Buick Skylark. The 64. Really? Nice. Oh, here we go. Pantera. Oh, yeah. What year? Nice. T-Bird, give us a shout out. Hi. From Long Beach. Long Beach. Welcome to Huntington. All right. Oh, dude, this is the car. I had one of these. Is this a 64? 65. 65. Yeah, mine wasn't a Converti. This is awesome. A Falcon. All right. Here you go. What's up? What do you got? What is this? We have an F55. We fit the engine. Excellent. El Camino. El Camino Real. Oh, yeah. Here we are. We're on the corner. And guess what? We're ahead of the curb. We're not blocking the street. Hey, give us a shout out. A Torino. Here we go. Here comes another camera bug. Hey! Say hi. Here we go. Oh, this is the car. This is the car. That's right. Every kid's dream. Big Mouth Camaro. Hey, who is this Indio? How he did it? How he get in here? <laughs> hey, what do you got here, bro? What is this? He's not talking. He's not talking. It's a '67 Malibu. <laughs> All right, I'll make these Indios stop if they want to or not. Because guess what? I'm cheating. Wally Coyote, super genius. <laughs> they got to stop for me. Nomad in the house. No, nope, he's from California. This India rode right through. What's up? Hey, hey, give us a shout out. What do you got here? What is this? 62, 62 Nova Wagon. Right on. <laughs> Search for the classics. I ain't stopping shit. It's a stop sign, fool. It's supposed to stop. <laughs> What's up, bro? Give us a shout out. Okay, this is classic. What year? 67. These guys don't stop for shit. Hey, bro, give us a shout out. What year is this? 68. Right on, it's beautiful. Good job. for my plan these stupids they stop they stop for this kid up there but I've got a stop sign and, and they're brain dead they're from California they don't stop for shit hey bro give us a shout out what do you got here nice it's gorgeous bro All right, this is different. George. 
Wow. Hey, I'm busy. Get off my jock. Leave me alone. I'm filming. Who the hell is that? And look. All right. Who else are you with? My Uncle Ned over here. Who? My Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned! What's up, buddy? You're on Club George VIP, Uncle Ned. He fucking looks just like you. Is that what I'm going to see in a few years? Holy shit. All right. All right. We got a charger. Beautiful. Hey, bro, give us a shout out. What are you? How you doing, my man? What year? 68. Beautiful. It's the original one. Nice. Oh, here comes ZZ Top. What up, bro? Give us a shout out. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, last week, some fool was telling me, don't be blocking traffic. What do you got? Hey, what is this? 68, Who's your pup? That's Hank. What up, buddy? Hey. All right. Nice. All right, we got a machine here. What's up? Give us a shout out. Who are you guys? Jalopy Jim and Cindy. All right, what year is this? 32. All right, right Cabri beautiful. Cabriolet pickup. Nice. Hey, bro, give us a shout out. What do you got here? 396, 66 Jamel. Nice. Crazy now. You know, I'm getting in trouble just for you. I'm getting in trouble just for you. That's right. I charged the gauntlet. Oh, Corvette. 60s Corvette, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but definitely cool. Stingray. Nomad. What year's your Nomad? No talking, no speaking the English. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, here comes another Chevy, a Bel Air. Hey, what year's your Bel Air? Another one, Cat's 
got his tongue. Ah, 56. There you have it. Got round two. A Torino. Hey. Hey. Is this a Grand Torino? Yes, it is. Yes. Stylish. <laughs> Not just a Torino, a Grand Torino. There he is. Hey, I saw you last week. You're back. So what is this? What is this? Sorno. What year? 1930. Excellent. And there he is, shirtless himself. What's up, bro? Sorry, I almost ran over a little old lady. Oh my God! Somebody locked me up before I. Oh, am I impeding traffic? No. What year, bro? Seventy-two. Excellent, excellent. I like it. And here's a ride of rides. That's one sweet vehicle. Well, I guess that's it. That's all she wrote. I'm gonna come over here and check these guys out. They're over here patting each other on the back thinking they're so cool. But you know what? They are. Okay, you shutter bugs, what's up? Look at these, look at these shutter bugs. Huntington, Huntington Beach shutter bugs. Par excellent. That's right. Hey, you finally go. stepped up and started doing videos. There you go. Well, I'm getting Welcome to more. our world, huh? Uh, it's about time. Yeah, Greg's been doing it for a long time. This I'll, photography is just stellar. It's, it's amazing. beyond. It's beyond. And I'm going to. Oh, look, you got your friend with you today. Of course, always. 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 Hey, I made in flight corrections. Get this. I listened to you and I got at the stop sign and I figured. Wiley Coyote, super genius. They got to stop for me because it's a stop sign. And then I found out I'm in California, stupid. Nobody stops. They roll them, baby. They roll <laughs> They stop for you, but they won't stop for the sign. What's up? Well, because they're trying not to run over my feet. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And we have that deal with the city that they let us do this. And uh -huh. so they, but they get one guy. One guy. One guy, one guy. One guy, one guy. Like I told you last week, now you got two. And guess what? Good to see you, man. Guess what, buddy? You yeah. got three. Oh, but, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's right, buddy. They can't keep us out. Exclusive my ass. That's my cigars. <laughs> my cigars are exclusive. Huntington's everybody's, right? That's it. I love you, man. Peace out. Sharkies, a most excellent place to dine. I'm really partial to the uh, K1 
kale salad and fajitas. Killarney's. What's up, bro? I don't do that really, but I, I, I get that a lot. And uh, do you want to get the opposite? Or do you want to listen to me know that you're into it? That you are you DTI. This is my favorite, my favorite form of communication. I, I don't receive it a lot, but I give it a lot. It's when you lick your chumps. Mm. Just listen to me. You know, nothing even has to be said when you're licking your chumps. I just, mm. I remember one time I tried to use this on a police officer back in Arkansas. There was arresting me, and this this female officer was sexy. I didn't I didn't really know exactly where she was. I just kept on making eye contact with me, and she was patting me down. And so I just you know I didn't know I was just kind of going with it. I was trying to live in the moment, like a true Buddhist. So I just started licking my chops like mm. Mm. She looked over and she said, "Sir, are you okay?" And I was like, "Oh, mm, that's kinky." Mm. Mm. I kept on going. I kept on just trying to read her actions. And let's just say that I, I really realized that she wasn't on the same page as me. Right about the same time, then she slammed my face down to the police police cruiser hood. I was saying, so what's her safe word? Yeah, exactly. I was screaming that very quickly. And I keep on going back to my eyes. No, it's okay. I hope you guys read the small print on the flyer that I had going out. We're starting a nudist colony right here in the colonies tonight. So if you showed up, you're in. And I hope everybody's ready to get, get, get real comfortable with each other. And you know, if you're starting a nudist colony, that brings up a question, who gets naked? You know, a nudist colony means naked people. Who gets naked? We got Bill Clinton on a Monday. Old people. Like Janet Jackson at Super Bowl. Bill Clinton on a Tuesday. When's that Thursday? Friday, so, so. I don't know if you got any Bill Clinton fans. I don't know, Nadia's from Arkansas. She's got some Arkansas roots. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet she wants them. You guys know this is the Raiders bar, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Raiders! Yeah! Raiders! Raiders! Yeah, I feel bad for all you Raiders fans. It's a disappointing season. You had to go there. Okay. So, okay, so, so we're getting naked. Y'all ready? I'll go first. Naked. One, two, three. Comedians up, we've got some very, very special comedians. His first comic is known all throughout the United States. He's been on many, many TV shows. He's made millions of dollars. He's ruined people's lives. Hey, fellas, hide your wives and hide your daughters. Because here he comes right now. Just put your hands together and open your hearts, and most importantly, open those legs. Roddy! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going for a sec. Woo! Like this guy's been on TV shows, I was like, fuck, I thought I was next. <laughs> What's going on here? But uh, this is a cool show because he uh, raises awareness for the homeless situation, right? He gathers socks. I think we can give it up for that, right? Yeah. No small act goes unseen. I think uh, it's cool to make an impact in the world. And if you guys don't know, he's collecting socks and hygiene products for the homeless tonight. So next time you come, bring some stuff. So shout out to Zach, shout out to the bar for doing that. Yeah. Right, now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story about my dear. No, I'm not gonna do that. Because I was raised Persian, which means that, uh, I, I was raised to be afraid of my dad and God, you know? <laughs> Both of them weren't really around growing up, but the fear was there. You know, the fear was there. I try to tell my wife, friends, it's not easy being a Persian in, in Huntington Beach. It's not. They don't get it. I try to explain. I say the hardest part of being a Persian is waking up every morning just wishing that you were Italian. <laughs> it would have been a lot easier that way, you know? Because Persians and Italians are pretty similar. 
But people usually like Italians. <laughs> and we all have families. And you got the biggest family down here, so don't give us any uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah. The Persian family down here is huge. But I'm going to ask you to stop filming because I am going to stop talk, start talking about my dick now. <laughs> I can't have that lead, my man. I'm trying to keep my job. No, but I try to tell my friends it's not easy being Persian, you know? And when I was a kid, I had no idea people didn't really like Persians. I didn't. And you're not Persian, so no. you got to take my word for I'm it. I'm Heinz 57. I'm everything. Heinz 57? You're a catch-up all? I'm everything. <laughs> Under the sun. <laughs> Oriental, <laughs> Spanish, Italian, Hungarian. Wow. Sister. I got you beat. Was that like an orgy, or how did that work? Boy, it, 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 you know, it, it, it basically is an open-ended program of interracial procreation. We started fucking everybody. Now we're all the same color. I, think, I don't know if you know where you're at. Uh, you might have walked into the wrong place. This is a group. <laughs> is this a family place? <laughs> this is a therapy session, my friend. <laughs> And we can keep going down this wormhole if you want. Hey, okay. Well, hey, check this out. Yeah, your dog's got a nice that's, dog on it. Yeah, that's okay. Beto. He's a red rocket. Everybody Why is he erect? It. Why? He's hard. That's right. Don't hate. All right. Well, this took a turn. This took a little turn here. Should we keep talking about his dog's dick, or should we... Oh, right. They're all jealous. You know you're jealous. All right, big guy. I'm not even going to talk about those shorts. <laughs> talk about short? I had to put my camera on the table. Oh, wow. Hey, that's a good one, dude. That's a good joke. Should we keep going? No, just carry on. Imagine I wasn't here. I'll move on. I don't want to bury your ass, sir. Right, I will bury your ass, sir. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So, what the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, yeah. So, I didn't know cocksuckers like this didn't like Persians growing up. And uh, yeah, I didn't know when I was a kid. It took me a little longer. You know, I don't know exactly how old I was when I figured it out, but uh, I don't know how old I was. But it was right around like 9/11. Uh, <laughs> So it became pretty clear that you guys don't fucking like us. <laughs> and I don't know why, because all the terrorists on 9 11, they're all Arab, right? HP, you guys know the difference between Persians and Arabs, right? Well, let me educate you, because it doesn't sound like you do. See, Persians aren't terrorists. That's the difference. That's <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, yes, you are. And you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Some of us are. Some of us are terrorists, but most of us are good people. You know, most of us are good people, so be nice. Don't push us over the edge. Laugh at my jokes. Okay, okay. all right. <laughs> and I won't kill you. <laughs> all right, I won't kill you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now from Persian, and uh, I'm married to a Latina. Any Latinos in the house tonight? All right, we got a couple of Latinos. See, Persians and Latinos are also pretty similar. I mean, I don't wake up in the morning wishing I was Latino, but we are pretty similar. We're all afraid of our dads. And oddly enough, my wife's dad is actually visiting right now. And he decided he was gonna stay with us for three months. That's a long fucking time. When my wife found out, she started crying. I said, babe, why are you crying? I shouldn't cry. I'm the one that needs to find a new place to live. <laughs> but he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He wants me to call him dad. But he's Latino, so he actually wants me to call him Papi. He wants me to call him Papito. Which is kind of weird because he's like 6'3", he's on testosterone, and he's like jacked as fuck. He's got veins coming out everywhere. I have trouble calling that guy Papi. Especially because that's what his daughter calls me. <laughs> when we're having sex. Right? 
But no, I call him Poppy out of respect. I call him Poppy, but every time I call him Poppy, I'm like, wait a second. Is this guy gonna fuck me? It's kind of crazy, it's kind of weird. What do I do it out of respect? When I first met Poppy, I used to call him Victor 10 years ago in Peru. And he would get drunk and tell everybody my name was Muhammad. That's kind of racist, right? HB doesn't think anything is racist. <laughs> I think it's fucking racist. But now it's all water under the bridge. Ten years later, I'm married to his daughter. I call him Poppy. And he calls me Muhammad. He still does. <laughs> Alright guys, that's my time. You can follow me on Instagram. Radhead420. Thank you. Going for Ronnie, absolutely. I told you, I told you it was good, good stuff. I want to. Uh, we've got this other comedian coming up right now. I had a joke, so it was really bad. I've got, I've got to read it down something. You gotta go. We've got this other comedian coming up. She's gonna blow you all away. She's a. You bark, we gotta go. Forms all over Orange County. Come on. You're not, you're not ready for these. The next level judge she's coming with. Yeah, crazy. You get me in trouble. Yeah. 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 Hey, this is Club George VIP. Did a little segue there. We're out here, out of Killarney's. That's funny. That's funny. We're in Killarney's. They're talking about racism. Film at 11. Hey, this is Club George VIP, sponsored by Kubana Libre, the feminist revolution. That's right, ladies, you did it. You got energized, organized, and you got that momentum. That Got a lady in the Oval Office, Camilla Harris, became the Vice President. And then, when Joe went in for a procedure, she became the President of these United States, making her the most powerful entity on the planet. Ladies, you did it. It doesn't get more equal than that. That's right, you shattered that glass ceiling into a billion shards. Cubana Libre, the feminist revolution, were also a cigar, the most exclusive cigar on the planet. Tobacco from Pinar del Rio, the best tobacco in Cuba, the best tobacco in the world, rolled by the master himself, except no imitations, they're only for my generals and dignitaries, not for sale at any price. This is Club George VIP, signing off on a Wednesday, classic car show, followed up by comedians at Killarney's. They killed it. This is Club George VIP. Jesus Rules. We're out.